Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys girls doing? Today we're going to talk about basically uh, how to optimize your functions. So it's going to be a really short video, but I just want to show you some tips and tricks. I thought this would fit in here while we're still talking about functions in, um, in how you'd want to kind of think while you're writing your functions. So we all know there are two types now. By now, if you haven't watched the old videos, I suggest you do because this is building upon that. So there is a uh, type of function that returns something and there is a type of function that does not return something. Okay, so we all know the void um, function that does not return. I guess that's the long name, but I mean it's a void function. Let's just call it func1. And then we'll have some uh, parameters in here later, but it's not going to do anything other than just do stuff. Okay, let's say it's going to change a number in here. Um, but a, a good thing to know, to note, is that if you want to optimize the speed, and if you have a bunch of functions calling constantly in a game or, or something, and you're just constantly calling stuff, um, you don't want to just always do a copy, for example, int value. All right, so we want to change this into something else. Int, let's call it value to change, and then we'll have int value here. So this is going to change. Let's just comment that in. Um, get a value as a reference and change it with and replace it say, with get a variable as a reference and replace its um, its value with another value. I guess that's kind of a bad explanation of it, but whatever, it's just a simple function. So we're going to get this value and we're going to replace it. So now we, we need to think about a few things. So what's going on? We have, we're not returning anything. We know that this needs to be a reference variable, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to make it an int reference. Okay, so now we know that this is an int reference to a very int integer var variable. So whenever we get a value here, it's going to be susceptible to change, right, directly in the memory. So we're going to be able to change it outside from within this function. So the function's task is very simple. It's going to be value to change. Uh, to change equals value. Really simple, right? So we're assigning this value to value to change. So another thing we can do is that we're obviously going to be getting a value here, but it's not going to be a variable or it could be or it could be anything. It doesn't really matter what this is. Okay, it doesn't really matter, but we want it to be efficient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add const here. I'm going to make this into a reference as well. So you're like, whoa, what the hell's going on? Oh my God, what's happening? Why did you do this? Well, const, just very simply, don't freak out. Const is something you can write in front of anything. I can write const here. I can make a const int. Often when I make a local variable, I'd make it const int uh, local uh, and just give it a value in here, 20 or something like that. But a constant, all that signifies, it tells the computer, hey, Mr. Computer, we're not going to change this value ever. So once it's assigned a value, I'm not going to change it. So that kind of takes a load off the computer. Okay, that helps the computer understand that this variable will never be changed. It will as soon as it gets a, a value it will not be changed. So a const int reference is something a reference is also good because it doesn't put that pressure on the computer to kind of copy over all the data from a variable. All it does is it just copies the address. So if the data is large, it won't matter. We'll just it will take space the same amount of space in memory, but it will still just have to kind of copy the address and then it will go through that address as an alias to the value. So uh, let me just show you that because I, you're probably confused. If you're not, if you're not confused, please just skip ahead a little bit. But what I mean is that we have an object here that's huge, okay? And we have this shortcut. We create a shortcut of it. It's kind of small because all it holds, because the address of this might be x one two three, but the value is like blah 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 blah. It's huge, okay? But the address is like this. So if we were to copy, if we had a parameter that would take this type of object, we'd have to copy the whole object 
into that parameter, which is huge. We don't want to do that. We'll create a little we'll reference parameter because this doesn't have to copy all the data over. All it's going to do is it's just going to copy the x, 1, 2, 3. And now that if it's const here as well, const, that will mean that this reference variable will not be able to change any data in here. Okay, so let me just explain that again. This is a const integer reference, meaning that it will just copy over the address of whatever we write in, and it will not be able to change that data. Now, obviously, this temporary value doesn't need to be changed. That's why I put const here. But this reference needs to be changed. This is going to be changed from the outside. So we don't want to const there because we're going to change the value of whatever we put in here. So I know that was a lot to take in probably. Let me just try to show you how to do this. So let's have an integer a equals 20. And I'll just print that out. A new line. Boom. So I, this is, I know it's a little complicated, but don't don't worry too much about it. So let me just print this out. See if it works. 20. Boom. Easy. Now, what if I made this const? Let me just let me just explain that to you. If I made this a const int 20, this would be fine because I'm only assigning it a value once. But I'm not. I can't do a equals 30. I can't do that. It's going to say. Uh, expression must be a modifiable L value. So that means that it knows it's a const. Computer is confused. Like, why are you trying to change something? Is it const? You just told me. Blah, 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 blah. But if I remove this, const, it's going to be a variable. Literally a variable. It will be able to vary. So const can't really vary. It's a const expression, constant expression. While a variable is just a normal variable. You can change the value of it. So let me just do func1. Let's give it a, and I want to change the value to 30. And now I'm going to print out a, and let's see, 30. So that worked. So the whole way you have to think here is that there's a few points. You need to remember, uh, does a value need to be changed? If not, make it const, OK? else just make it a reference now why do you make it a reference again like I showed you in the picture like this sometimes it might cause some errors and because you're this is not actually a variable you're writing in it's just a local literal but don't worry too much about it you can do that in parameters you don't have to give it a value so but if I if I do this int b equals 10 and I send it in b so what is this going to do essentially is going to take b put it in this const int reference as 10 okay and this is going to be a still now we're going to put b's value into a so that should work right boom 10 but what if i do this the other way around if i say value equals value to change like that it's going to complain it's going to say expression must be a modifiable l value this is not a modifiable L value. It's just a reference to a constant integer like that. So we can't change its value. See how that you kind of have to think about it. And this makes it very optimal. Now let's go on to the next example. I wish I had more time. I'd explain everything. But I hope you're understanding this. Otherwise, with some practice, you'll understand. Because you'll see the errors when it will tell you that something doesn't work. But let's make an integer, something that returns an integer. Let's make our classic add function. Int a int b int c let's say add or let's make it a little more complicated let's say uh, median okay let's make it a double we're gonna get the median of something um, integers okay uh, number of uh, number of values I guess because you need the values and well, obviously, there are three, so we don't need that. So we'll take three values and give it the median of that. Uh, OK, so I guess it should be return a plus b plus c divided by 3, I'm guessing. 3 point f. Let's make this a float like that. So we're taking the whole value, and we're dividing it by a float here three otherwise if you don't do this it will make it a um, integer division you don't want that I think it will 
or that might actually this float might actually never mind just just put 3.f here it'll make your life easier and for the computer as well but don't think about it too much we'll talk about that in the later coming videos um, but anyway this will take the three values add them together and divide it by three and then we should get a medium value but how do we optimize this function what is the optimal thing actually I'll take that with us actually a good point here uh, anyway so what are we returning first of all we need to think what are we returning we're not returning a variable that can be changed that needs an address or anything we're returning a value so you don't wanna go ahead and make this you you could if you wanted we can try that out but I think it will be an error but at, at least you wanna make it a constant okay const float because that value that you're returning it's obviously not gonna be changed this is a value you're using so you're getting a const float back and that's it for that right now and then how do we optimize these well again we'll make all of these const int references const int references because we're not going to change these values all we're doing is using them in this division and we're not doing anything else with that if this was a class I'd write a const here as well but we'll talk about that when we get to classes I wish I could put that in here but I can't because it's totally different uh, but anyway just this looks a little different doesn't it it looks a little scary but you don't have to don't worry too much about it it's just a little more optimal for the computer to know kinda what the hell is going on why is this and I'm sure there's plenty of more ways you could optimize this stuff here um, but anyway for now this is cool so I'll put the point F here because anytime the computer obviously we're returning a float right but these are all integers if I have a three here these are all integers and what we'll have in the end here will be an integer then the computer will have to go in and convert that to a float and that will be a pain a little a little more pain for the computer so what I'll do is I'll just convert this I'll tell it that this is a float and this whole expression the result of it should be a float because one of these values are is a float then we don't have to do that conversion and this float will be returned and then it's a mouthful but yeah and that should be a little more optimal and then we'll just do C out median of 10 20 30 so what is that 60 divided by 3 it should be something something 20 boom and I wish I could show you the speed of that but yeah I won't <laughs> but if you have a way to check it out you should do so uh, let me see if there's any type of um, I'm pretty sure there is a way I'll check that actually I'll check that out in the other video in another video I'll try to check out how you can kind of look at all these tools and stuff but nevertheless that is a way to optimize your functions and make them a little easier to to handle now I could make this a const float reference and it should not be a problem because they can handle literals so that's even a, a more of a kind of more of a uh, optimization right there and yeah there you go so just go ahead and play around with these try to try to understand why and how all of this works and like I said just don't freak out if just read about references functions const expressions and stuff like that and I'm pretty sure you you'll get into it now again try to use const a little more try to use references and pointers as much as you can and try to practice those things and I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll you'll grasp everything now I probably missed a bunch of stuff but uh, if I if you come up with something just write it in the comment section and I'll try to make a video on that uh, later on thank you for watching take care I hope you guys and girls learned something keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next one alright bye bye